Welcome to our course on Understanding Einstein, the Special Theory of Relativity. I'm Larry Lagerstrom. I'm an academic director and historian of science at Stanford University. And in this brief video clip, I want to give you three reasons why you should consider taking uh, this course. You may know that every year Time Magazine chooses a person of the year. And a few years back, at the turn of the century, from the 20th century into the, the 21st century, they decide they should choose a person of the century. And of all the significant figures they considered for that honor, the one they ended up uh, choosing was Albert Einstein. And on the face of it, this is really a remarkable decision because Einstein, he was a theoretical physicist. He dealt with very abstract, very abstruse matters, and yet, just to be in the conversation for an honor such as the person of the century means that uh, this is somebody we should really know a little bit more about. So let's say that's our, our first reason for considering taking this course. So number one, person of the century. Again somebody you should know something more about. Uh, number two, we'll call this the miracle year of 1905. And in 1905, Einstein had maybe the greatest year any scientist has ever had. And at the time, he was only 26 years old. Of all things, he's a patent clerk at the Swiss patent office. He essentially was a, a failed academic. He graduated in, uh, from university in 1900, tried to get a job as a physics assistant at a university, had failed in that, tried to get a job uh, teaching physics, wasn't able to find a position of that e even at a high school level, and therefore eventually he was able to find a job at the, uh, at the Swiss patent office. And in 1905, he published five papers, almost any one of which could have made his, his career as a physicist and, and uh, his name. To give you an idea, one of those five papers dealt with the quantum nature of light, really introduced the idea that light maybe was more than just a wave, which was well accepted by that time, but that it had uh, particle-like aspects to it. So really that was uh, the paper that kicked off what later became known as the quantum revolution in physics in the, the 20th century. So that in itself, and it was a very controversial idea at the time and for a number of years after that as well. So that was one paper. Another paper uh, he wrote showed that there was really convincing evidence that atoms existed. And you might say, well, you know, people thought about atoms for, for centuries actually, but up until that time, even in, in uh, the era of 1900 or so, it was debated whether these entities actually existed. We could never see them probably, and therefore, were they even proper to talk about scientifically? And he showed uh, theoretically that there was good, solid evidence that atoms existed. And then uh, another paper was his famous e equals mc squared paper, introducing probably the most famous equation in all of uh, science, really. And yet another paper was what later became known as the special theory of relativity. And that's going to be the topic of our course. We want to uh, figure out, you know, what was it about Einstein that enabled him to come up with, with some of these ideas? And in particular, the special theory of relativity, he really transformed our understanding of space and time. That, that perhaps time isn't different from one, for one person compared to another person. Just the ticking off of clocks can change. Uh, length, measuring lengths can be different. How, how can a length be one thing for one person and yet another thing for another person? And so on and so forth. So this miracle year of 1905, that in itself would make Einstein obviously a suitable uh, topic for further uh, understanding, further delving into uh, exactly how this occurred and what the concepts were and what the implications were. Of course. So, person of the century, miracle year of, of 1905. Number three here, we'll just list it as a quote. As you may know, there are quotes by Einstein all over the place, all over the internet. You see them all the, all the time. 
Uh, actually, many of them are fake quotes. Einstein didn't say what he supposedly said. Sometimes it's something he might have said, but never actually quite said it that way. But this quote I want to uh, tell you about is definitely something Einstein said. And he said, uh, the important thing is not to stop questioning. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. Emphasizing curiosity here. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. He said, one cannot help but be in awe when one contemplates the mystery of eternity, of life, of the marvelous structure of reality. Okay, the mystery of the marvelous structure of reality. And then, and then he went on to say, it is enough if one tries to comprehend only a little of this mystery every day. Okay, the mystery of the marvelous structure of reality, it's enough just to comprehend only a little bit of this mystery every day. If you aspire to be that sort of person, if you are that sort of person, then this is the course for you because that's exactly what we'll be trying to do. We'll be trying to, to lift the veil a little bit on that, that marvelous structure of reality and, and the mystery of it and uh, follow in the footsteps of, of Einstein in these revolutionary ideas that he introduced, uh, especially in the miracle year of 1905, and, and see how he came about it, learn a little bit about Einstein himself, and also exactly what are the implications of some of these ideas. So I hope you'll join us in this course.